In this video, we are going to be using an if statement in Python to determine the lowest number. So how it's going to work is the user is going to type in two numbers. Python will do a quick calculation and let us know which of the two numbers was the lowest. Just as an example here, um, you can see how it's going to work. It's going to say enter the first number to start with. So if we type in 20, then it'll tell us to enter a second number. So I'll type in 10. And then Python will come back and say the lowest number is and give us the lowest number out of the two that we typed in. So in this case, it's the number 10. Okay, it's a fairly simple um, app. We use one if statement and that is about it. So let's get started on making it by going up to File and New File in the Python IDLE. Now from here, the first thing we want to do is we want to get um, some information from the user. We want to get the two numbers that we'd like to compare. So let's store those two numbers in variables called num1 and num2. Okay, so on the first line where it says num1, we're going to write num1 equals, and we're going to get an input, so that allows the user to type something back into the computer. Then in brackets, we're just going to write enter the first number. And make sure you've got quotation marks around this as well. Now I'm going to copy that because it's quite similar onto the next line here, so just control C to copy it. All we're going to change is the word first to second. So the input, enter the second number. So that will allow the user to enter the first number and the second number that they are going to compare. Now one thing we need to take note of here is when the user enters something into the computer like this, the computer or Python thinks that it comes back as a string um, data type. We actually need to change that to an integer. Okay, so when the user does type in a number, we want the computer to recognize it as an integer and not a string. And that will allow us to do some numerical calculations in just a moment. So the way we convert this into an integer is we go back before the word input and we write the word int and open up a bracket, go to the end of the line and close that bracket. It's pretty simple. Do it for the next line as well, just write int, open a bracket and then close a bracket. So num1 equals int, so anything that's inside of these brackets is going to be converted to an integer. So when the user enters that first number, it becomes an integer, and same again on the second row there, just below it. Alright, so we've got the two numbers entered in by the user. The next thing we're going to do is the if statement to perform the calculation to work out which number is um, smallest. So we're going to write if num1, so the first number that the user write in, if that is less than or equal to the second number that the user typed in, put a colon and we press enter. And you'll see that your mouse cursor has been indented. Okay, that just shows us what's coming inside of the if statement. So leave that mouse cursor indented, otherwise your code won't work. We're going to make a new variable called lowest and it's going to equal num1. Okay, then we're going to go back to the left-hand margin here, and we're just going to write the word else with a colon. And we're going to write lowest again, so that variable's popping up again. Lowest, it'll be equal to number 2. Okay, so if the first number that we type in is less than or equal to number 2, then our lowest number is the first one that was typed in. Alternatively, anything else will be number 2 as the lowest number. All right, that's all we need to do for the if statement. So press enter a couple of times. Go back to the left-hand margin here so we're no longer indented. And we're just going to print back to the user on the screen which number was actually the lowest. So we'd write print, open up um, brackets and quotation marks, and write the lowest number is, put a space and then close your quotation marks. I'm going to put a plus sign and we'd write the word lowest inside brackets. Okay, so we'll close off those brackets. Now one more thing we need to do here, okay, lowest at the moment is a number. Okay, we did the calculation and we worked out what the lowest number is going to be. What we want to do now at the end is convert lowest back to a string because this is a string of text being displayed on the screen. So just before the word lowest, just write str. Okay, and that will convert lowest from an integer back to a string. And that's it. So let's save that up. So just go to File and Save As, and I'll 
let's call that lowest number. I think I've already got one called that. No, it's all right. And just to run it, you go up to the Run menu, click Run Module, or press F5. Let's see how it goes. So let's enter the number 50. I'll enter 100 as the second number. And it tells us that the lowest number is 50. Awesome. So that's working. Pretty simple app. Um, hopefully you've got no issues with that.